from around Africa have gathered at the Kenyatta University for the second edition of the Nairobi Summer School on Climate Justice. The youth will spend the next two weeks engaging with experts, researchers, academicians, and long-standing climate campaigners and activists. The Summer School is an initiative of the Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance, and this story was compiled by Ben Kirui. <laughs> For the second year running, established climate change campaigners, activists, younger generation of climate justice advocates and practitioners convened at the Kenyatta University for a two-week summer school on climate change. During the high-level symposium, the over 500 climate change activists will be sharing experiences and perspectives and reflecting on the pathways to low-carbon and climate-resilient development trajectory. Interventions by the young people are the ones that give us hope and they illuminate a beam of hope, indicating for sure that we have hope in this continent. Now this year, ladies and gentlemen, we have 150 students who are going to participate in this school, you know, uh, uh, physically here, but we have another 700, can you imagine, that will be joining us virtually. Our main agenda is to educate people, to give them awareness so that they can understand the effects of climate change. Ahead of the UN Climate Conference COP27 in November this year that will be held in Egypt, Pan-African Climate Justice Alliance, the organizer of the initiative, says the summer school seeks to build new bridges, bringing the voices of frontline communities who bear the devastating impact of climate change into the international arena. We are holding this summer school against a backdrop of a continent that is struggling to liberate herself from the adverse impacts of climate change. Why is climate change is so important to the youth? Because climate change has increased levels of uncertainties about our future. The future is yours. The cohorts of the inaugural Nairobi Summer School, as well as the freshmen, expressing optimism of gaining more from the transdisciplinary curriculum for climate change in the global south. I really appreciate the summer school because climate justice is a very new concept and it really enlightened me on what climate justice is and how we can use uh, climate justice in our advocacy work. Everybody, everybody should be part of the, the climate justice or the climate walks in general because, uh, you know, it's literally impacting everyone. Very certain that with the caliber of young climate activity that we have, COP27 is going to be an African COP. According to Carbon Disclosure Project report, Africa accounts for the smallest share of global greenhouse gas emissions at just 3.8% in contrast to China at 23%, 19% in the US and 13% in the European Union, yet it bears the brunt of climate change. Voices from the global south and Africa in particular where climate injustice prevail remain inaudible in global discussions. The training will integrate plenary and facilitated discussion sessions, lectures, breakup workshops, creative arts, case studies, exhibitions, and experimental learning tours to various relevant project sites.